ABC News contributor, host of the Law and Crime Network, Brian Buckmeyer, for more on this. Brian, what stood out to you most from these opening statements? Because there is a lot in this case to follow. <laughs> yeah, Dan. Some of the new facts that we didn't hear about, like the fact that Chad Daybell's cell phone pinged exactly where Tylee's body was found at that pet cemetery, along with Alex Cox, and then just the gruesomeness of the murders. We might not even get uh, causes of death because of how gruesome, for example, Tylee was killed. But we did find out that there was some of her DNA on a shovel and a pickaxe that might have been used to dismember her. Now, uh, prosecutors showed jurors photos of those shallow graves where uh, JJ and Tylee were buried. They also called JJ's grandmother to the stand first. What do you think is the strategy here and what kind of an impact do you think that had on the jury? I think it's a huge impact. It's about the gruesomeness of the murders, but also giving life to witnesses who cannot testify for themselves. So you put on the grandmother who has the ability to talk about JJ as a human being, the light that she saw in this person, and then contrast that with the darkness uh, that Lori is going to describe her children having. Now, the prosecution is also now saying that Chad's previous wife died from asphyxiation. Her death was first ruled natural causes. And they are alleging that Lori's brother may have been involved. What do you think that means for Lori's case? So a lot of this case is about murder and conspiracy. Now, in the murder case, it's about aiding and abetting. So you don't have to be the trigger person, so to speak. And the conspiracy is just planning it all together. If you put Alex Cox in the middle of it, of this person who's at the whim of Lori and Chad, that person's actions can cause convictions to Lori herself. Uh, Brian, there are so many deaths around this couple. Lori's two children, her former husband, her brother, Chad's previous wife. How long do you expect this trial to last? And, and does it pose a challenge when the timeline is as complicated as this one is? They expect it to be about an eight-week-long trial, which is long in of itself. But as you listed, all of the murders and the themes of money, power, and sex, and why uh, Lori's accused of doing X, Y, and Z to try to get those three things in one way, shape, or form, it is going to make it difficult. But if the prosecution can tie it well enough into a theme and to a story that all makes sense, they could end up with conspiracy and murder convictions. All right, Brian Buckmeyer, always great to have you. Thank you. My pleasure. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.